What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to some more Little Root Lettering. So, we're carrying on uh, playing some more of this Hit Moon Top Mamma Swine, uh, Moltres, Comfey, Red Steel, Feeny team that we were playing on Tuesday. So, if you haven't checked that episode out, make sure you go and do so. As you see, we're playing on Showdown. Um, we technically don't have a Series 9 letter yet on Cart, and I don't have anything built on Cart. And, uh, honestly, I didn't feel like stealing just random rental codes off the internet. I, I'd much rather play teams from our community than just grabbing a random rental code. So, uh, that's where we are. So, let's see what we can do today. Let's go over here and, uh, just get straight to it. I'm really excited. I've been enjoying this team the last couple days. Ooh. Oh, this is just, like... Everything awful and potentially dangerous all at once. So, uh, Dragapult Colossal, we've seen this combination a hundred different times at this point. Uh, Weezing Gigas, seen that combination a hundred different times. And Torkoal Venusaur. So, what's interesting is I think Carl has done a deep dive on all three of these team comps together, like, individually. Um... So it's really concerning to see all of them here together. Because I'm not going to lie to y'all, I really don't know what to expect. I think... Like, Hitmontop Mamoswine's pretty good against, like... These... Like, the Sun and, like, the Gigas lead, but not so much the Cole lead. But I, I really don't have a good answer to Colossal. And I think our opponent might see that and confirm that. And as a result, I think we're going to leave like Feeny hit on top with uh, Moltres and Mamo in the back. And they are going to, in fact, lead the Colossal Dragon Bolt here. So we might need to Dynamax Feeny here to be able to live and overgrow so then we can Oko back the Colossal. Could also anticipate them um, going for protect this turn and anticipating us triggering it for them, which I honestly, I think if that's the play, I kind of like, <laughs> how much does our opponent respect us? That's the real question here. Do we Dynamax and go for Starfall to take out this Dragapult? Or do we geyser and, and hope they don't click protect on coal? I think we take out um, the Dragapult and let's go into Mammo here to pick up the KO with a uh, Ice Shard next turn. Yeah, there's a Surf, which is really unfortunate because that does a ton to Mammo Swine on the switch in. There's the Overgrowth, but we take that like a champ. Unfortunately, uh, they are Sash, so they do go down to Sash, and we aren't within range to be able to live another one. We're going to Max Guard, and we're just going to Icicle Shard, or Ice Shard into this Dragon Ball take it out. Hope they target down the Mammo Swine. Okay, Dragon Ball down. Yeah, this is a vocal of the Mammo Swine. I really don't see how we win this game now. I hope they target down the Moltres here. This tells me they have Weezing in the back. We're going to go for a Geyser into Cole. And we'll go into Hitmon top to get the Intimidate off on the Gigas. Yep, there's the KO on the Feeny. Now that this Gigas is at minus one, it's not doing a ton of damage, especially since they do have slow start up. But what's unfortunate about this is we don't have a solid into the Colossal now. I think not targeting it down. I, I like I legitimately think them going for protect there is a reasonable like anticipation. And so targeting down the Dragapult seems correct. Because if they don't go for it that turn, we cost them their Colossal and potentially their Dynamax by making the play that we've made. So I'm just going to click Fiery Wrath. I'm going to go for a Fake Out into the Colossal. 
They protect the Gigas, that's fine. Please be enough. Not even close. Cool. That's interesting. So now we can fire your wrath again. And go for helping hand this turn. They get the burn, they trigger our thing. We take out the coal. Oh, but uh, Vocalith takes us out. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I'm like, well, it says the game is over, but I don't know why. But yeah, Vocalith is uh, going to take us out there. So, thinking about this game, how do we... Like, I, I think the play we made on one is correct. And I think the, the lead that we had is correct for the potential matchup. Because if they lead um, Weezing plus Gigas, we have... Like, a way to put pressure on the Weezing with Mammoth Swine in the back. We have Intimidate off of Hitmontop, pending that we can get rid of the Weezing. Uh, obviously, Feeny doesn't do a lot there, but we can just, like, set up in front of them and potentially bait the Weezing into attacking and give us an opening to take out the Weezing before um, he gets really snowballs. And against Sun, like, Feeny lines up pretty well against them outside of, ex like, I mean, obviously Venusaur is very good and lines up very well against Feeny, but a Dynamax Feeny does put on a non-zero amount of pressure against Sun as well. Obviously, like, Moltres, I think the four we brought were correct. Um, like, Moltres puts on a ton of pressure against Venusaur if they do have the Sun duo. Him on top is really good for being able to intimidate and apply pressure from fake out onto like Reggie Gigas and other potential leads. And Mamoswine just puts on a ton of pressure against uh, Venusaur and Torkoal, Weezing, uh, the Colossal. Like, so maybe, maybe it's correct to lead Mamoswine, but then the problem becomes is like we just get outsped on turn one. So, what, what do we actually accomplish there? So maybe, maybe it's not Hitmontop, but we bring Mamo and play the game of, okay, I'm going to Dynamax either Feeny or Mamo. I hope you pick correctly, and if you don't, you're going to lose. Because that's like basically forcing them to go for a, uh, like, go for the, uh, the Steam Engine play. And I think most likely they would target into the Feeny, so if we Dynamax the Feeny and... Geyser plus Ice Shard into the Dragapult. Second Ice Shard picks up the KO. Um, Colossal goes down to Max Geyser. I mean, it is four times effective, and we're Max Special Attack on Feeny. So I think I think had we led exactly Mamoswine instead of Hitmontop, but still have Hitmontop in the back for this Gigas, I think we're in a better position on the lead because I think then it covers all of our potential, um, like all the potential combinations they could have on the lead. Let's get into another one. Really short game for the first one, but I think it was... I, I mean, honestly, I think that game was fine. So, Faramosa, Taman I've been playing quite a bit with. I believe Latias gets, like, skill swap for Levitate, which they could be trying to set up here. Um, especially since they see Mamoswine on our side, they could be like, hey, I'm going to try to prevent that from doing things. Um, obviously, Thunderous is for... Uh, negating the Intimidates, like, thanks to Defiant, which is really good against exactly Cinderace here. Like, obviously, you can't Intimidate the Metagross. Um, what do we like? What happens if we just lead Comfey Moltres here? What do we get punished by? Uh, they could speed swap into Thunderous and attack into Moltres. I, I think Comfey Moltres is correct here. I really like Registeel in this end game, especially if we can potentially get a uh, potential like coaching boost into it. The question is, do I want Hitmontop or do I just want Mamo Swine? And I think the answer is probably Mamo. Like, it lines up well against the, the Heatran, it lines up well against Thunderous, and they're going to have Thunderous Faramosa up front. 
So, what is the chances of this being Prankster Thunderous instead? We could Trick Room. We could Trick Room plus Protect. I think that's actually really safe. And then we can trigger policy next turn. And they're gonna go for coaching. Airstream into Moltres, does basically nothing. And we get a trick remote. Okay. So I feel pretty good about that. Uh, the big problem here is like now they have an unchecked Thunderous at plus one defense. Uh, which, I mean, uh, it, mainly the plus one attack is the problem. Um, they did approximately 25%. So that would be 100%, and then we Dynamax, it's 50%. Um, so we can go for a Taunt into... Actually, we could just Draining Kiss the Ferramosa and go for Airstream into the Ferramosa as well to guarantee that KO while staying slower than the Thunderous. Yeah, they're going to protect Ferramosa. Nice play here. So now they're going to Lightning into Moltres, which we actually don't live. I actually I actually anticipated us living that, which is really unfortunate. But now we can uh, just Draining Kiss pick up the KO on this Ferramosa, and we can go for and Amnesia here and just start bulking up. Like, I don't see anything that Thunderous does here that uh, really threatens Wrench of Steel, especially since we are the slowest thing on the field. Uh, granted, we do have massive, massive uh, defense stat here, so we should be able to take anything that they dish out. Ooh, that does a ton. But their Dynamax is over. Unfortunately, we used ours in a pretty unopportune situation. I think, I think we played the first turn very well, and I think the second turn um, was definitely inoptimal. So we can go for a Floral Healing here. And actually, does Floral Healing go through Protect? I actually didn't know this gives a boost in Grassy Terrain. That's really interesting. We're just Body Press into the Thunderous. I think Iron Head is probably more damage, though. Uh, body press probably does more. Iron Head, Babiri gets eaten here. Superpower almost takes us out. But we're just going to Floral Healing back up. And we'll go for an Iron Head, try to get a flinch. This is the last turn to protect, which is unfortunate. They're gonna protect the Thunderous, that's pretty pretty okay. Iron Head is going to take Comfey out, and that's actually really good because now they're at neutral defense. We get to bring in Mamoswine and put on a ton of pressure here. So I'm going to Hmm, what's the correct play here? I'm gonna Icicle Crash the Thunderous, I think. I don't think Ice Shard is actually enough. So we know they have superpower and protect, most likely wild charge and fly. But that tells me they're not assault vest because they have protect, meaning they're uh, are they life orb? They're not life orb. So what are they? I'm gonna protect the registeel this turn. Okay, this is superpower and the registeel. Icicle Shard, uh, Ice, Icicle Crest is enough to pick up the KO. Iron Head is enough to pick up the KO on the Mammo, though. Um, hmm. Yeah, we definitely don't win this endgame. Uh, they just pyro ball us and we die. Cool. Okay, so let's, let's, let's critically think about this game. Uh, turn one went about as well as we could have anticipated. Um, turn two definitely was pretty inopportune. 
And I think the correct solution... I'm actually interested in looking here... Um, as to what kind of damage a plus two Moltres does to, um, let's just import this set to architects here. I want to see what this does against, um, uh, opposing... Against opposing thunderses. So let's see. We are at plus two special attack. They were at plus one defense, plus one attack, plus one speed. Dynamaxed. We are also dynamaxed. And we are looking for thunders. Hmm. Well, that's the Assault Vest variant. I don't want Assault Vest, but... I want to see... I wonder... They might have been Safety Goggles. That's like the third most common item after Assault Vest Life Orb. Um, so let's just open up the calculator here then and do it this way. Thank you, multiple screens, so we can make this nice and handy. Alright, well, I am interested in seeing how much we actually do. Because if we can take them out, which, I mean, we might. I, I don't think so, but we might. Especially if we are at plus two. We'll come over here and go thunderous. We want level 50. Uh, let's see, most common set is 4 HP, 252, 252, jolly. We know they weren't... We know they weren't Life Orb or Assault Vest, so that means they were most likely Safety Goggles. Which probably doesn't matter in this situation. So, according to this... A plus two Max Darkness... Oh, no, 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 they're not Dynamaxed. Plus two darkness does at most 86% using the max attack, max special, uh, max def uh, max attack, max speed. So we probably, like, I mean, th there's no way we take them out. So I, I think it might have been just correct to. Like, we, I see the lightning coming in that situation because seeing how much the airstream did. So we can reasonably anticipate that. Go into Mammo Swine, and then, like, what are they going to do in that situation? Probably go for Max Knuckles so we can switch back into Moltres then to take that. Potentially put us into Berserk range. I think that's the play. And, like, make them waste their Dynamax while we're just kind of shuffling around trying to, like preventing theirs, and then hopefully we end in a situation where we have Moltres plus Comfey out versus Thunderous outside of their Dynamax. Okay, so what do they have going on here? This is Sheer Force Nido King, most likely Scarf. Um, they have Gigas next to... What does Latios get? I know Latios has one of those attacks... Is it Simple Beam? It's not Simple Beam. You can't skill swap. I 
it's one of those that um, it turns off Gigas' ability, and I can't remember what it is. I, I know it does something, and I, for the life of me, can't remember what it does. But I think that's most likely going to be their lead, so I'm just going to Mammo Swine plus Hit on top here. This lets us get a free Intimidate off onto the Gigas. Also puts on a ton of pressure against uh, this Tyranitar here, while also being able to pressure like Halucha as well. Like This actually seems like a really good lead. Uh, the one thing we have to worry about is this King, which I want... I think I want Tapu Fini for, and then we can bring in... I think I just like Moltres here. Let's try this. So it's gonna be Halucha and Reggie Gigas. What does Halucha do here? I don't think it has any way of... doing this thing. Most likely just ally switch. The target's ability changes to much the... Oh, they're going to entrainment. Okay. So we'll just go for hailstorm into the halucha. Actually, no. Let's hailstorm into gigas and go for a fake out into halucha. Okay, it's really good damage coming off. I'm just gonna Earthquake. Um, doesn't do a lot. Doesn't do a lot all around. I think the correct play was to take out the Halucha that turn. So now we can Hailstorm into the Gigas. This, like, prevents them from, like, wanting to actually go for the Entrainment play. Like, yeah, they're going to Entrainment, which is fine. Um, but we're still faster. Because I don't think... Like, I, I, I don't... I don't think that actually accomplishes anything there for our opponent. Um, we can go for the Hailstorm into Latias this turn. And... I guess just go for another coaching here. Like, I don't think this Latias actually scares us. And yeah, they're gonna fly and press into him on top. That's kind of whatever. They're gonna set up Tailwind. We're gonna take out the Latias. And now I'm gonna bring out Moltres against Nido King. Oh, yeah. We should be fine. Uh, we'll protect this turn. We'll go for an Air Slash into Halucha. I want to see what Nido King gets locked into here. I think it was incorrect to not take this Halucha out sooner. They're gonna Dynamax hit uh, Nido King. Interesting. They have coaching, but that is not enough to take us out. And they're gonna lose their Halucha here. Okay. So now we can high horsepower the Nido King and click protect, I guess. Next, Uzi and Moltres is enough to take us out, but uh, we take them out here. Mammo Swine over here putting on a clinic. Absolutely putting on a clinic today. Yeah, we got we got time for one more today. I know, like, we, we haven't really played a lot of games, but we've also gone, like, super analytical in the games that we have played today. Ooh, interesting. So, Dragapult plus Terrakion is insane here for our opponent. Um, just because, like, we can't fake out the Dragapult, which is what Hitmontop is going to be doing. Um, let's see. I think my solution is I want Mammoth Swine plus Hitmoon Top, I think. 
I think that still puts on a decent amount of pressure against what they're bringing here. Um, I, it might be Feeney. What do I think of Feeney hit on top? And like Dynamax Feeney here. I actually like that a lot. I think this is pretty decent against like everything except for potentially Rillaboom, which we have Intimidate for. Um, and then I like Mammal Swan because it hits a ton of things here super effectively with priority. And then I think it's just correct to bring Moltres just so we can put on a little more offensive pressure here. And it is going to be Dragapult Terrakion, that's fine. And they're White Herb Terrakion, okay. Well, I am just going to... I'm just going to Geyser into Terrakion and go for Helping Hand. Try to take this out before it becomes a problem. Trachyon is faster, that's fine though. There's the beat up, I'm, I'm okay with this, they're gonna do their thing, it's gonna take forever, we all know how this works. The wall of text continues to grow. They're gonna quake, put us down to Sash. Guys, are actually gonna do a pretty significant amount of damage here. Um, so we'll go for... I think a non-zero chance that they they uh, protect this turn. So I kind of want to Starfall into the Dragapult. And switch into Moltres here. Just putting another Quake into that slot. Yeah, they max guard. They go for Breaking Swipe. That's fine. Starfall is going to delete the Dragapults. That's cool. Now they could go for Rockfall into the Moltres slot, which I'm not excited about. But I want to get rid of Grassy Terrain, so we're going to Starfall the Terrakion, and we'll go for Protect this turn. Uh, they could double up into Feeny, which could be problematic. Yeah, this is a Rockfall into Moltres. It does take us out, but I think I'm fine with that. Woodhammer does not take us out, and that means we should be able to take out the Trachyon and change the terrain away from, um, from Grassy Terrain, so now that they no longer have priority with uh, Grassy Glide. So we'll bring out the Rillaboom here. They're going to have Heatran as their last. We're going to get the Intimidate off. And we're going to click Muddy Water plus go for Fake Out into the Rillaboom this turn. I think Heatran most likely protects this turn. And they try to go for another Wood Hammer or a Grassy Glide into Tapu Fini to pick up the KO. Get the Fake Out off. They don't protect Heatran. Does a significant amount of damage. Flash Cannon is enough to take us out though. Hit one top goes down to sand. We bring out Mammo Swine. Hmm, this is awkward. I think I think we lose this end game now. Unfortunately, I think we played really well up to this point. I think losing Moltres was problematic, and I think it might have been correct to sack off the Hit Moon Top that turn instead. So we can. Ice Shard to take out the Rillaboom, but he trains way too much to be able to take it out, so either we let the Rillaboom get two attacks off. I, I guess we had to pray that we live one, but I don't I don't think we do. They actually protect Rillaboom, so we get to take the Heatran out here. And now, actually, actually, I wasn't anticipating being faster than Heatran. And now we can Ice Shard, which will take out the Rillaboom. Okay. Okay. I think they anticipated, like, obviously them protecting the Rillaboom there means that they anticipated me targeting it down. But in that end game, you have that game won if you just double attack. Oh, excuse me. 
but yeah, our opponent had that game one, had they just click Woodhammer that turn. Um, like, Woodhammer plus Heat Wave means that we lose. Because we can outspeed potentially one of your bonds, but we can't out, like we can't KO both of them before one of them gets an attack off. Um, the fact that like, sure we can ice shard the really one to take it out, but then you either flash cannon or heat wave down my mammoth swine, and in that situation, like we target down the uh, heat train because I do think it is the bigger threat to us. And then the Rillaboom just drops the hammer on us, and we we get KO'd that way. So, opponent kind of punted that game in the end by not attacking. Um, I think, like I said, had they just attacked there, I think we lose that game. But, um, yeah, you know what? We got, we got time for one more tonight. Why not? Why not? You know, maybe. There we go. So... Draco fish sand things. Backed up by Feeny, Rillaboom, Zapdos, P2. Okay. What do we like? I like hit on top so we can intimidate both of their dorks that I anticipate coming out on the lead. Um I like Mamoswine. Mamoswine looks pretty good against everything except for, like, Mr. Vish and Feeny. But I think that's fine. Like, we have other, other answers to them. And I think I want Comfy Moltres in the end game here. Um, and I think this is going to be a late game Moltres Max. So, yeah, we're going to get the Intimidate off on both of these. I'm pretty okay with that. And I'm actually going to go for the. We got into the Rillaboom. And just go for the Icicle Crash into it. Could see the Gigalith going for the Dynamax here. Like, of the potential mods I see them bringing. Um, like, I, I think with these two, they have Dracovish in the back. And most likely, like, Safety Goggles Zapdos, I think, is probably their last. They're actually going to go into P2. And they do, in fact, Dynamax the Gigalith, so that's good for us. But P2 just takes that like a champ, and now we lose our Mamos. Oh, we don't lose our Mamos line. Interesting. So now, they're going to try to set up a Trick Room. I'm just going to close combat. And high horsepower into... The P2 to try to take it out before a Trick Room goes up. And, like, if we lose Mamoswine in the process, I'm pretty okay with that. Like, they are at plus one, so we probably need a crit on one of the two attacks to be able to take them out here. Oh, yeah, we need a crit there, I think. Like, we do a ton, but not enough. Ice Beam's gonna break our Sash. Rockfall into Hitmon on top means we live, so we get another attack off. They went for Ice Beam and not, um, not Trick Room. So I'm just going to Helping Hand and Ice Shard. How important is it to preserve Hitmon on top here? I actually think it's pretty important. So I'm going to go into Comfey, actually. And we will go for the Icicle Crash, because I think that's actually going to be enough to KO. And if it's not... Oh, actually, we're just going to get to pick up the Rillaboom here. That's even better for us. Like, Memo Swine goes down. Uh, they're going to Rockfall into Comfey, which we should take. Yeah, we take that actually pretty well. And now we can go into Moltres here. Which, like, sure, you have a plus one to your defense. But, uh, I don't think you're gonna like this Moltres here. So we're gonna Drain and Kiss. And I think it's appropriate to just Darkness into the P2 to pick up the KO on it before Dracon potentially goes up. Alright, P2 down. Got the special defense on Gigalith. 
Proxlight comes out, does okay damage, and Dracofish is gonna be your last? No, it's actually Feeny! I am going to taunt the Feeny. I'm gonna go for a Darkness into the Gigalith this turn. Yep, there's the KO on the Gigalith. And now they can't haze. Oh, interesting. And now we'll just attack in here. Uh, they're at minus one special defense, so Airstream plus Draining Kisses should be enough to pick up the KO here. Man, that taunt coming in absolutely clutch. I was anticipating a um I was anticipating a calm mind. Like Calm Mind and then uh, Moon Blast is following turn. Because the Calm Mind would then raise their special defense so, like it negates the special defense drop from uh, from Darkness, but them going for Haze there could have been really problematic because not only would they have gotten rid of the special defense drop on themselves, but they also would have gotten rid of our special attack boosts. And, you know, like that would have been pretty problematic. So let's throw out the team one more time. Uh, make sure you check this out. There's going to be a Poke Paste down below. I'll make sure that's there. And uh, check it out. It's been This seems been really fun. We have yet to actually get to do Registeel games, which is really unfortunate because in the games that I play offline with this team, Registeel is like a super all-star. But we got to do Mammoth Swine things again today. We got to do some more Moltres things. Um, Feeny could have been really good. And me over... I don't think it was actually overanalyzing the, the first game. I think the plays we made... Uh, we're correct. I think in hindsight, obviously, they were incorrect, but um, I definitely think there's a world where the play I anticipate actually happens, but unfortunately, that wasn't today. So, that is going to be it, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking around this long. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and we'll be back later this week with some more laddering. Have a good one, everyone. Peace.